Well, good morning. Um, today's the 23rd? Friday, whatever that is. So, right here on the, the uh, homestead trail at Red Top Mountain. And I guess you can see I don't have my backpack on. And that's because I'm trying out. Get around here. A Mountain Smith lumbar pack and uh, on sale. I've been looking at them for a while, but uh, they were like 70 bucks, and I just didn't want to spend 70 bucks on one. So I uh, got on sale for 40, uh, 42, something like that, from REI Outlet. So I threw in an old outdoor research uh, beanie cap for another eight bucks and got my fifty dollars for free delivery uh first time i've hiked with a lumbar pack so far so good feel a little droopy on the butt so I, um like yeah i've got to learn how to adjust it and get everything set right but we'll see i'm gonna try to get some miles on today and see how it works out been a while since i hiked so i'm still uh, working on uh rehabbing uh, my left shoulder where I pulled the muscle trying to get that done and let me kind of land off the packs to let's see about that getting better and my hikes got a couple hikes planned up in north georgia I'm looking at doing pretty soon i was going to do one today but i decided on your shoulder a little more time then I just come out here and try this lumbar pack. See how it goes. And, uh, I don't know the name of the model of the uh, lumbar pack. I guess it's just a lumbar pack. I don't know if it's the only one they make or not. I'll look it up. Put it in here. Um, I'll tell you about Mountain Smith. Years ago, I bought a Mountain Smith to actually take in caves. So I'm camping in caves. And uh, at the time, that was the toughest pack I could find. They are built like tanks. Yeah, they're heavy. Heavier than a lot. But uh, they are built to carry a load. And they're built to carry a load through some rough country. And uh, rocky country. So, if you want a tough pack, you don't have any wimpy zippers or wimpy straps. I mean, it's, it's all going to be heavy. But it's all gonna be heavy duty. So, <clears throat> if you're looking for something heavy duty, you don't mind the weight. There you go. Uh, I had the old uh, Frostfire Mountain Smith. That thing was like a Cadillac with weight on it. It just it was just as comfortable as it could be. But uh, yeah, it was it was good. I was really really pleased with it. So that's what you're looking for. My main pack now is a is a uh, Z pack. Um, I've had it for a while now. Get my name up, but I like it too. It's very comfortable to be so light. Carries a good good load. I think it's 35 pounds. Sometimes the 50s uh, a little small, especially start getting around winter time. I have a Waymark 50 also, but it seems to carry more. Uh, I guess because it's got a great big outside pocket and my tent will fit in there. And that'll leave me all that room inside my pack that the tent was taken up. So, uh, oop, a little fawn, hang on. Let me switch over here. Right behind the tree there. There she is. Little doe. Uh, I'm laying down here. There's one laying down in here too. The fawn laying down right here. There's another doe. That's another doe. Oh uh, yeah, on the way in here, there was a, a doe standing in the middle of the road. And her fawn was trying to nurse. And mom was trying to get out of the road. And the fawn was like, no, I don't want to stop eating. And so she finally had to pull away from it. And the little doe, I finally stood back in the middle of the room. And uh, 
finally followed her off into the woods. It was cute. Let me see if I can get by these guys without scaring them. Okay, the uh, the one down by the tree to the right was a, a spotted fawn. Can't tell it on the camera. And the one laying down was the mom. So she just stood up to see where I was going when I went by the little fawn, but she just kind of stayed there. So I try to walk slowly and keep my head down uh, and don't look around. Show, show like I have no interest in them. And uh, I keep my ears open just in case mom decides I'm too close, but uh, respect wildlife. Them with respect, and uh, I pretty much respect you too. Unless you, uh, unless they feel like you're endangering them with their babies. Like, like wood ants, but. I don't know. I know red ants usually dig their home like that, but those are black in color, not red. So if you know, let me know. We're gonna take keep it on it. We'll come back by uh, we'll, uh, in a few days we'll check it out again. This is where we're at on the trail. This is that uh cut through a lot of people take they don't want to do that extra loop around so off we go down the hill this way i'm going uh, clockwise if we go clockwise i think there's less uphills if i remember right a little bit easier to go one thing i find strange out here is uh when i first started hiking out here I saw snakes regularly, and now it's like, I haven't seen one in a, probably a year. And, uh, so, no. I don't think it's a tree. There's a big hole in the bottom of the tree. I think the big bee just came out of there. Be careful of that. Not there's Japanese, European hornets, or whatever they are. Anyway, that's the trail ahead. That's where we're going. I don't know, but this looks like an old driveway going right down through there. Well, down there in the, the bottom, way down in there, is a stacked stone something or other. I don't know what it is. Maybe the base of an old chimney or something. Uh, I wonder if that's what it was. In fact, we went to an old cabin down here. Back when people lived here, that would be a, well, it looks like the driveway going down through there. But, man, I tell you what, when people lived here, the lake wasn't here. Are you talking about out in the country? This was out in the country. There's another one that's red right here. Looks like it goes out to a, a point. You see it right through there. look out somebody says it go oh man it'd be an awesome camping spot you know down there a nice flat no old in there or something like that but uh show you a little better i get here that's what you think about when you hiking through the woods by yourself like this oh that'd be a great camping spot yeah see that kind of goes out through there Yep, very little you think about when you're hiking, really. For me, anyway, I think about, uh, well, that'd be a good camp spot. What are some water, water sources? Dangerous trees, animals, insects. Uh, hazards along the footpath. Temperature, humidity. You think about a lot of things, kind of, but not really in depth. Just kind of run through your mind. Oh, there's a chippy. There he goes. <laughs> Morning, chippy. And uh, you just don't think about it. A lot of things. 
except what's pertinent at the moment. And I think that's a nice thing because all the things this world just kind of fall off your shoulders and go away for a little while. That's why I like hiking. We had a bunch of high winds the other night and I've noticed a lot of trees down up here. Uh, I've heard that they said that we had wind gusts at 70 miles an hour in the northern part of Cherokee and tornadoes. So this is Bartow County. A bench or something. The little birds are cheap, boy, they're hunters. And they'll turn over every rock under every leaf and they'll climb under things, porch, looking for spiders. I love those little birds. Getting there a lot of insects for me. Oh so, well, that squirrel ran across the roof. <laughs> well, I was talking about down trees, yeah, those storms. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's it. That's something else to think about hiking. Is uh, keeping your head up, you know, looking up and seeing if there's any dangerous trees overhanging. Look like they might fall. They're probably not going to fall while you're going under them. But at least you'll have a, be aware of it. If you hear something snap, you already got a plan on kind of which way to go. Hopefully it works. Uh, one more thing in the trail. Here's some of the things to look for. The bees love these trees right here. They're probably a woodpecker. Anyway, it's right above me. I'm finding. The bees love these trees anyway, they love the sap out of them. And you'll see everything from right now, you got a swarm of yellow jackets down there. You'll see uh, big hornets, all three of these trees right here. Go back and look on my video from last fall. You'll see them. Where a woodpecker is. Don't matter much if I found him because this little camera just will never do justice. Well, he's on this tree right here because the one to the right is dead. Or oh, he may have been on that tree. I don't know. That's not one of the trees that the bees love. I saw another one. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I saw another one fall off. Now that's something. I'm gonna look into getting. There's two things that are pricey I wanna get. One of them's a new tent. Another's a, a good camera. I would really enjoy taking some good photographs of some of the things I see. Uh, the camera's okay on the phone, but it's just not, you can't zoom and get quality. Oh, save the pennies. Here I'm favorite sitting spot. I'm about three miles in, something like that, I guess. Not very far. Anyway, I just want to stop, take a quick break, because it's been a while since I've been out. And uh, catch a real, little breath here and rest for a minute, let my legs rest for a minute. And uh, show you my pack, my little lumbar pack. So far, I like it. It keeps the heat off of the upper part of your back. Uh, I don't need the trekking poles as much because a regular pack, shoulder pack, can throw you off balance a lot easier because the weight's up higher. With the lumbar pack, I really don't need them on this trail. Uh, they come in handy going up the hill still, so uh, that's the thing to think about. So a couple of things I got in here, probably a normal chair, well, I will normally carry, I guess, on this, in this pack, is uh, my GoPro. Which uh, I was gonna film most of this on my GoPro. <laughs> uh, I left the mount at home. Had tripod, got the camera, 
extra battery with no mount, so I just use it on my phone. Uh, always carry a trash bag, all your trash out, leave nothing behind, fit, footstep, or footprints, or take your trash with you. Nobody, not a single person I know on planet Earth appreciates you leaving trash behind. I walked by one of the coves I've been going. Uh, I was shocked at how many. Sorry about all the jerk around here. I was shocked by how many uh, water bottles were piled up in the cove. Just because you have a water bottle that's clear doesn't, you know, you're on the lake, whatever boating. Don't, don't throw your water bottles out in the water. Take them home with you or take them to the trash can. You know, you do that at home, you throw your water bottles all over the house, you know, on the floor. Anyway, I doubt it. Anyway, my favorite spot. Beautiful as ever. Quiet today. I've only seen a couple of people. Mondays are usually pretty quiet, though. though. Monday through Thursdays are usually pretty quiet. Fridays, they sometimes pick up Saturday and Sunday. It's always busy. So... Come out during the weekday. Take a little time off work if you have to. You can see what people do. Uh, good or bad, however you look at it. But this little trail coming up through there. Goes around the tree here and goes out that way. Uh, I think a lot of those are caused by people just fishing. Walking along the, the banks. I noticed there's a, used to be a rail on that side, because that's a pretty steep little drop off on this point here. So, yeah, you can see the trail goes back up the bench I sit on over there. So, the bad thing about these is a lot of times if this part right here is low enough, boaters will stop and somebody can jump out of the boat, run up here and go to the bathroom. And then this is what happens. Well, it's up here. What happens then is people leave their toilet paper behind. And that's not good. So, take your TP with you. And good Lord, at least bury it. Get the mushrooms. There you go, TP right there. Don't do that. Don't do the slime. These that don't pick up TP. Unless it looks like it's not been used for something. And then I uh, keep hanging sanitizer in a, in a bag and try to use sticks to pick it up. With. I should pick that up too, but. I might still, we'll see. Yes, and disgusting as it was, I did pick it up. <laughs> ah, I hate picking up toilet paper. So now I'm out in the backyard trying to do one, and I have this thing to contend with. <laughs> ah. So anyway, so... <laughs> Mm. I'm going to try to do this closeout video here in the backyard with my German Shepherd Han. So uh, more than likely, we're not going to do this without several barks being involved in it. We'll see how many we can get away with. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the results of the lumbar pack were, uh, I was quite pleased actually. I'm still not used to it. It still kind of feels funky to me. Um, I don't think it's going to replace my day pack as my my uh, main carry pack but uh, on the short hikes like today where I'm under a four or five mile yeah that, that's actually a very good pack you know if I was doing anything here or, uh, around where I live or the, this area is pretty urban so anything I would do around here that would probably be a real good pack to carry because I can uh, carry the two water bottles with me and the rain jacket and whatever else I need so um Hopefully, uh, the next one will be uh, uh, up in the, I was thinking around Hamakaloa Falls area. 
um, maybe in the Cohetas. I got a couple trails I'm looking at doing. Um, trying to really, I really want to do an overnight soon, so I'm trying to decide uh, what to do there. But I'll let you know as soon as I find out, and uh, we'll do that. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.